In this video, I'm going to tell you what I do and what I have invested in over the years of raising my worms. There's all types of videos with different worm farmers, and this is how I operate my bin. So I am not comparing myself to anyone else to say that I'm better or my, my method's the best. You need to find out what, what works best for you and apply it with your worms. So enjoy the video! Well, hello. Before you do anything with worms, the first thing you're going to have to do is research. You need to find out which worms are able to compost food scraps and which worms are not able to. And then now, once you figure that out, you got to figure out what type of worm bin you're going to have. And for me, I just use a Rubbermaid tote, drilled some holes in it, and that's my worm bin. How much do you want to invest, you know, for your worm bin? There's Worm bin 360s, can of worms, the vermi worm bag, there's all types. So think about your budget and what you want to invest in. But if you're just starting out, just start with, like I said, a Rubbermaid tote. And then the more experience you gain, then take it up to the next level. And then and on that note too, you can also get affiliate links if you buy something and Amazon will partner with you to help you earn some extra income. But I just use Rubbermaid totes. I have no affiliate affiliated links. So that's just what works for me. I don't, I did not go out and spend money on Cocoa Core. Some people use it. I have not. And when I first started out, I had peat moss. Try that, but I stopped using that because peat moss, some of it has chemicals and that's why I strictly just use cardboard and shredded newspaper. And what I did also went out and purchased a nice shredder. So a shredder is something you should invest your money into. And my shredder is able to shred 12 sheets of paper at one time. So it has no problem shredding that cardboard that I can apply to my worm bins. Now when it comes to worms, you got to figure out that they're going to cost you some money. And if you're thinking about starting a worm bin, today is the, the day to start because they're getting really expensive. So you need to watch out because some people are going to charge you an arm and a leg for some worms. And I don't want you to go out like that. So look into, you know, what you're going to pay and think about your budget as well. So that's just a few tips. I just want to throw this video out to you real quick to let you know that, you know, wish you the best of luck with your worm journey. If you have any questions leave it in the comment bo comments box below i just want to say thank you for your time and you have a great day bye